Okay. So I think everybody should be able to see that now. And so, like I said, we're going to start with surveys. So I just brought up my uh, CSV file. So this is, you know, can be a typical type of survey. You can see here it's just a comma delimited file with uh, coordinates. So point number, coordinates, elevation. Um, there are survey chains in there, start and stop, you know, start and end. So we picked up, you know, we've located horizontally some water lines some electric overhead electric we've located power poles here at the top and um, as i scroll through go down towards the bottom we picked up some water lines and we picked up some drainage uh, culverts pipes if you will and, um, and so that's usually the kind of the jumping off point is to bring in that survey so let me just create a new field book here we're going to expand and and bring that data into the field book and I'm just going to import using the text import wizard. I'm going to select my file. And I'm going to, it's a point number, northern easting code. So very typical ASCII file that we get in, you know, through support all the time. And I'm going to finish that and bring it in. And I just wanted to show you that, you know, this is, so you might receive, you know, survey data, you know, and here's, you know, survey chains. Or maybe you receive, you know, you know, survey points. So these are all typical type, you know, information that you may you get through a survey. Here, for example, if I zoom over to a culvert, I just want to point this out for future part of the demonstration. Is I'm going to go ahead and rotate my 3D view a little bit, and you can see in this case one of the ways they pick up. The survey was to pick up not only the uh, top of the structure, but they picked up the invert of the structure as well. So there's, and there are different um, cells that represent those. So that we can, you know, take advantage of that maybe and extracting and creating utilities from that. Uh, one of the things that you may want to do as well is you may want to, um, instead of working, you know, going, you're going to go into a brand new DGN and reference in your survey, you know, instead of working with the actual surveys surveyors file if you will in this case you might want to um you know work with for example export this to a dgn so you're just working with the graphics and not the actual survey data so that's one option as well you can export you know out to a dgn file save it off and then you're just working with the three-dimensional graphics if you will so that's an option as well If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.